Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Coldest Arcade. In today's video, I will be talking about how we can automate the Microsoft Edge browser. Okay. In my last tutorial, I showed you how we can automate the Brave browser. This is the code for that and I had already showed you and explained all of this. In today's video, I will show you how we can automate the Microsoft Edge browser. Uh, that is this browser that we have here. Okay. This is the Edge browser. So before starting this video, I would like you to please like and share our videos if you like our videos really and also at the same time if you really like our videos, please 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 subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates. Thank you and at the same time I want to thank all of you who have been supporting us for such a long time. Thanks a lot. So let's get started. As I said, today's tutorial will be on automating the Microsoft Edge project. Okay, so let's get started. I will go to my project in IntelliJ and here, if you just see here, I had created a package of browser automations. Let me just create one more Java class. Say Edge Browser Automation. Okay, I'm keeping the name of the class relevant so that it makes sense, right? Our class name should have some meaning. It should be able to explain what we are going to do in the project or the program, right? So let us do the basic stuffs that we already have here. I'm creating a static web driver instance. Okay, now I will have the main method here. Let me delete this space. Okay. So I have already explained all the stuffs in my previous videos of this playlist. I will give the link in the description. If you are not knowing about why I am creating a static web driver, if you don't know the basic things, you can go back to our playlist and learn about that. And also, if you want to get started with Java before starting Selenium, you can also go to our YouTube channel. You can see here, this is our Codus Arcade YouTube channel. Okay. You can go here and go to this particular playlist on Java for beginners and advanced. Let me show you here. Yeah, this is the playlist. Okay. You can go to this playlist and learn about Java, the basics and the OOF concepts. After that, you can come back to the Selenium playlist and learn automation using Java and Selenium. Okay. All the basic concepts have been covered in that playlist properly. You can go to that playlist, learn them and come back to this. Okay. So let's get started with the other things. So first thing first, as we already know, we have to set the property and tell the Selenium framework which browser we are going to automate. Okay. As I said, this will be edge browser automation. So I will just call my system class. So system dot we have the method called set property. It takes two arguments. The first one is the name of the web driver. So web driver dot for Google Chrome it is Chrome dot driver. For Brave it is same Chrome dot driver. For Edge it is Edge dot driver. You have to remember that. Okay, and for Firefox, it is Gecko driver. Okay, you have to remember all this. So, H dot driver. And the second argument that is text is the location of the edge driver. Okay, if you see here, I don't have the edge driver in my project. I only have the Chrome driver here. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's go to Google and search for edge driver and press enter okay let us go to the first link that is here and you can see that i have some options so let us download it from the stable channel okay it's very reliable and it's error prone the other ones so we should go with the stable one okay so for me mine is 64 bit so i will download the 64 bit version okay you can see it's getting downloaded let me go to that particular folder. Okay, you can see it's here in the downloads. So let me cut it from here so that I can show you properly. Let me minimize this, minimize this 
and store it here in my desktop okay you can see this is the folder i will right click and extract it so that i can get around the zip folder and get to the contents of the zip folder okay i will extract and you can see here in this extracted folder i have my edge driver okay this is it so right click i will just copy it from here for the time being and close it and go back to my IntelliJ project and here in my drivers folder I will paste it okay done and let me click on ok so here you can see I have my edge driver version and please remember you should also be knowing about the version okay so as I downloaded the 107 version in front of you right you can see version is 107.0 dot something okay so this is the latest version and let us go back and go to my edge and see which version is my edge okay i will just double click on this and you can see here if you go to help and feedback and if you go to about microsoft edge here this option you can see the current version here is let me just zoom out a little bit so that you can really visualize it yeah this is the version 107.0. something okay so the latest version of it in my system is 107 so that's fine no problem and you can see it is 64 bit that's why i downloaded my edge driver also of the 64 bit this is the one right you can see here let me zoom it a little bit so that you can see this i downloaded this version these are links if you click on that you will get the zip file of that particular driver okay so this is done let's go back to my ide and do the automation right now okay so here first thing is done as i told in my system.set property we take two arguments the first one is the name of the driver and the second one is the path to that particular driver wherever it exists okay so right now you can see this is the path and i have showed you some shortcuts of writing that so dot slash means the current project and inside that you can see this is my drivers folder okay inside that i have my edge driver okay ms edge driver this name is case sensitive you have to write exactly the same okay and dot exe the executable type okay the extension that is very important okay now let us instantiate our driver so driver is equal to as we know we are going to automate the edge browser so we need to instantiate our web driver to the edge driver like this okay so this is done now we all know the methods that we have with our web driver so let us go to a particular URL. So driver.get. I like the Selenium website. So I will try to automate this. It should be inside double quotes. Please remember that HTTP colon double forward slash www.selenium.dev. Okay. Fine. After going to the URL, let us try to maximize also so driver.manage.window.maximize fine after that let us put some sleep so that we can see the automation at least a bit let us give me a sleep of two seconds this is not recommended for proper projects just because i want to see this i am doing this okay and i am adding an exception to the method signature now suppose i want to get the url of this particular page so what i do is urls are strings or text so what i will do i will save the url into a string i will use my driver instance dot get current url this is the method now i will just say s out okay so the url is plus okay next thing suppose i want the title as well as i have done with the earlier browser automation string title is equal to driver dot get title this is the method okay so s out again i want to print the title title is plus 
right okay so two things are done after that i just want to quit the driver so driver dot quit okay so let's see we are able to automate the edge browser or not i click let me run this okay it's building yeah you can see it has opened the edge driver and after getting the url and the title you can see here let me just zoom it a little bit the url and the title the url is selenium.dev and the title is selenium okay after that it is quitting the browser okay so let me just comment this quit for the timing and let's see what browser it is automating okay running it again okay you see here this is the edge browser let me open a new tab yeah you can see this is the edge browser right so we have successfully automated the edge browser okay so i hope you have understood this this is pretty simple right now let me just again uncomment this so that i can quit the browser after opening it okay running this again okay you can see it has opened the edge browser and selenium.dev url is open and the browser has been closed and in the output terminal or console you can see we have the url recorded and the title is selenium okay as we have done in the previous cases okay i will be giving you a link to the playlist in the description and also the earlier videos you can go through them and if you have any doubts regarding this video or the earlier videos you can put the, your doubts in the comment section i will be very happy to clarify all your doubts and 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 please if you like this videos please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel Codus Arcade and also hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates. Thank you. This is Saurabh signing off and happy learning. Bye-bye.